What's the verdict? True! Hi, this is Tina with Students for Life of America, and this is your Pro-Life Gen News for Thursday, February 16th. Let's get started. So recently, The Daily Caller asked the question, does live actions videos prove that Planned Parenthood exaggerates their prenatal services? Their verdict? True. Yes, live actions videos show that Planned Parenthood boosts the idea that they have prenatal services, but in fact, when you call in to Planned Parenthoods, their employees don't even know what you're talking about. Um, do you have any prenatal services? I'm pregnant. I need some vitamins. Uh, what services? Yeah, verdict true. We might be seeing an end to one of Obama's rules where he said that no state could restrict federal funds to healthcare providers that perform abortions. Now, if you don't already know, Obama is sort of has a favorite choice when it comes to healthcare providers, and that's Planned Parenthood. So when he saw that one of his BFFs was going to lose federal funding, he stepped in with this ban. Since 2011, 13 states have actually restricted funds going to healthcare centers that perform abortions. Representative Diane Black said it best in the committee hearing when she said, and I quote, we must return to a point where states are empowered to make their own healthcare decisions based on the unique needs of their community and their constituency without fear of reprisal from the federal government. So while this resolution is looking pretty good in the House right now, not so good in the Senate. So if you're a political person, you might want to pick up that phone and make a call. So that's all the news that caught our eye today. <laughs> My name is Tina Whittington with Students for Life. What else do I say? Uh, and whatever I want to say to close out. <laughs> okay. <laughs>